Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cold Banker Dan Harp Realtors. Today I'm at the luxury community of Cordillera Ranch, off 46, about uh, 15 minutes from Bernie, Texas. I have out of state clients who are looking at two different lots today. So of course, we're gonna do some lot tours. Let's go check them out. All right, the first lot we're gonna look at today is 38 Verde Point. We are about two minute drive from the 3351 exit on the backside of the main portion of Cordillera Ranch. The lot is 2.19 acres, and as of 30 January 2022, they are asking $347,000 for it. Let's go check it out. This lot has an amazing view from, if you're standing at the very front of the property, because it does have a gentle slope going down from the front of the property to the rear of the property. This is an irregular shaped property, so it's not a rectangle. Kind of pies off this direction and uh, keeps going straight down this way. So plenty of space to build whatever size house you want on it. This oak tree right up front is gonna be one of the bigger oak trees on the lot. This is what the cul-de-sac looks like as of right now so it's kind of nice having a cul-de-sac nobody gonna be in front of you you can barely hear the road noise from uh, 3351 the neighbor's house has already been finished on that side and on this right over here they're working on that house and that house over there is already completed all right let's go uh, for a little walk down this lot just to see what we can see I'm gonna walk down what would be that uh, angling off portion, mainly because as you can see, there's a little bit of trail here already. But you do have this oak tree right in the middle of the property as you're coming in. So yeah, if you wanted to have your driveway coming in from the front of the property, you can go right around the oak tree because man, you've got a, uh, nice space right behind it to build whatever you want and then have all this stuff up front and i've recently learned that the tax rate for this section of cordillera ranch as in the older one is only 1.7 percent versus if you're looking to build on the spring side they still have their mud tax on there and you're looking at about 2.3 on that side. But you can see the property line is going to kind of run right at the edge of where this guy's driveway is. Their lot goes way back the other direction. So these line of oak trees you see here are going to be on the property. Along with this oak, which would look much nicer once you clean it up a bit. Some tall grasses, uh, definitely if we are a little low in water, we could use some more rain, but rain would definitely go a long way to uh, greening this all up. And it's not too, too difficult to just kind of mow it down some. But on this part of the property, definitely get rid of that ugly bush, but right behind this oak tree, you've got a nice wide spot with some more oak groves on the back corner. And if you look closely, you can see that fence line. And there is, you can barely see that there are some wires back there, but uh, there's hardly visible. But this lot does go quite a ways back this direction. Probably back to where those oak trees are right up in front of us. So yeah, you would have from this wide open space right here all the way back this long stretch would be kind of uh, your backyard. And this area right here would be a wonderful build site. And yeah, you would have 
room to do really whatever you want to do back here. There's these oak trees. There's that other property next to it. And then coming up. I'm going to walk around a little bit because I want my clients to get as good a feel of this property as they can. They've already seen this property live and in person once. Really liked it. But sometimes it's good to look at it a couple of times while I'm out here doing a YouTube video of it. Or Rumble. I am starting to upload these videos onto Rumble now. Just because, uh, well, the more eyes, the better. But there's this beautiful property. Looks like they've got like a guest house kind of back behind their property. This community, you are allowed to have a horse on your property if you wanted to. That's kind of nice. And if you've got uh, just over two acres, it'd be kind of fun just to have that option. Checking out these trees on the back corner. There is a cactus growing out of this tree if you can look in there closely that's pretty crazy but these are some beautiful oaks you can see the fence line for the other property neat place if you wanted to have a little outdoor dining space but if you listen closely you can still hear a little bit of road noise back there All right, got some more oak trees on that far corner, but no need drop walking all the way back there. This is a wide lot. I, the previous, well, the owners of this lot, people are selling it, built this little stand here. to kind of see if once they build a house, will you still be able to retain some of that view that you had from the very front of this community, this lot. So I'm going to go and stand up there and see what it looks like from eye level. All right. Okay. So, got my GoPro at eye level. And if this is where your house is built at, you're still not going to see too much of that view. Just because there's so many trees blocking it. So. But man, this is an easy blank slate of a lot to do with what you wish. All right, that's going to wrap up the tour of 38 Verde Point in Cordillera Ranch. Let's go to the next one. All right, for our next tour, we are now standing in front of 31 River Crossing. This lot just came on the market today. It's a little bit smaller than the last one. It is 2.13 acres. And as of 30 January 2022, they are asking 399k for it. Let's go check it out. This lot is literally right around the corner from uh, the 38 Verde uh, point because you just kind of go up here, make the turn, and there's 38 Verde point. This is a little bit flatter lot across the board. The sun sets off, the west is off this direction, off an angle. So um, looking at the lot, I don't know if you can see where the post is. This is going to be more of a regular rectangle 
lot. Some nice trees up front. And the other side is right where my truck is parked. So let's go ahead and walk into this lot. You are going to have some beautiful trees right on the side and right up front. Both neighbors have already built their houses on either side. Yeah, really, no, I haven't seen, it looks like there's an old dirt road here that's probably been here for a very long time. This is a very flat lot. Very few rocks in the grass as well. Showing you the trees that kind of run right down the middle of this lot. You got like three really good, well, I would count that as four oak trees, kind of all lined up. And then it opens up into where it would be a really nice flat build spot back here. You can see the house on the right if you're facing away. And you'll definitely be able to see the other house on the left. And they've got their lawn mowed down. They do got a fence on there. But it's a pretty lot. There you see the neighbor's garage. I'm just walking towards the back of the property, kind of showing you what. Uh, let's see. If you did build kind of right up in here, have your driveway coming right up through the oak trees, this base here would be a good build site to where out the side of your house you would see the neighbor's houses, but you won't see them too much unless you're in your backyard space, which you can see the fence line back there. I know uh, my clients are wanting to build a pool which you would really have a blank slate back here to build your pool on. Just like with the 38 Verde, you can hear some road noise out here because 3351's just uh, two minutes away down the road. I mean, it's not overpowering road noise. I just wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't let you know I could hear some traffic. Kind of showing you what the back of the lot looks like. See, they've already got fenced on two sides of this property. And just like 38 Verde, you are gonna have some very small, hard to see power lines, no real pole. Well, except for at the corner of your lot, you'll have a pole. And there's your barbed wire fence. So if you got a uh, medium sized dog, you won't have to worry about fencing in that side. The other side, I do not see a fence. Looks like somebody's already put flags out here, maybe where they were thinking about putting a house. some flags there but yeah nice lot no real clearing unless you want to get rid of some of uh, these junk trees or keep some of them there just for sake of privacy Oh, I see another spot where they were planning on building. Looks like this was going to be the front corner. If you see the flag back this way. So yeah, 
Looks like they were planning on building right up here, which is not a bad spot. Definitely would have plenty of space to do your driveways, views of the trees. But yeah, this is a very, very flat lot with plenty of space to do whatever you want in the backyard. The only negative is it's a little on the overpriced side, I think, because wanting 400,000 is just barely over two acres. But that's my opinion. We could always run the comps. I just sold uh, a lot not far from here. It was about the same acreage as this, maybe a little bit bigger even. Some gorgeous trees on it. And it sold for 343k. Not 400,000. All right, a little look at these trees again. And then the trees on the side at the front of the property. All right, that's going to wrap up the tour of 31 River Crossing in the original section of Cordillera Ranch, where I mentioned earlier in the video, the property tax rate is only 1.7. That's what I've been told by a couple people. I do want to look that up in the county records, too. But it's a nice, very flat lot. And, uh, yeah, if you like this video, if I, once I make it public, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and if you're looking to move to the great state of Texas and trying to shop around communities and lots and builders, hey, hit that subscribe button. If you want to reach out to me, best way to do that is to tap on the calendar link, which I'll put in the description box, and you schedule a phone call or Zoom call with me. All right, that's going to do it for today. Take care now. Bye.